Um, do you support a graduated progressive income tax? And then also, um, what will your administration do to establish a fair residential property tax system? Talk about the income tax and the property tax, and we're starting with Jack. Just uh, the tax structure in Pennsylvania is an antiquated tax structure. Uh, it's one in which it needs to be updated. Uh, and we could talk about numerous taxes here tonight. We could talk about the highest business corporate net income tax in the country, but 75% of the com uh, companies are exempted from it. Those who have to pay it, it's the worst tax they have to pay. We can talk about the capital stock and franchise tax that is uh, to be eliminated and has gradually uh, moved forward towards elimination. I supported uh, the elimination or reduction of the, both of those taxes when I was a state senator. We have one of the lowest personal income taxes uh, in the country. That's a good thing because there are subchapter S corporations and that's basically the tax that they pay. We have to make sure that companies in Pennsylvania are operating in a competitive manner. And we have to make sure it's more competitive than other states and other regions of the country and the world. We need to take a look at the entire tax structure, at the sales tax, at the exemptions within the sales tax. The governor talked about um, a gold bullion uh, not being taxed uh, within the sales tax. He made a good point uh, during the entire budget debate. We need to put together a blue ribbon committee to address the entire tax structure, to update it, to make sure that it's sensitive to economic growth and to personal needs. Uh, yes, I think we should have a graduated income tax. We have it in the city of Scranton today. We have a 2.4 percent, and uh, if you make more, you should give more. Uh, I've always believed in that because that's basically what it is to be an American to help out those who can't afford certain things. You contribute for it. Whether you see that in education and providing it for taxation to provide for education for our kids, or in parks, or in safety, it's the right thing to do. Uh, and I'm in favor of it, and I've seen it work. <laughs> As I said earlier, I do favor a graduated state income tax and local property tax reform. Uh, we also need to reform other state taxes. Um, our corporate net income tax is a mess because it is so unfair. Um, it sits at a 9.99% rate, but very few corporations pay that rate. And the wealthier corporations are able to move their money around, and they pay lower and lower rates. The corporate world is screwing itself, and they don't seem to understand it. So we, we, need to, uh, we need to change the way we use the corporate net income tax, use a combined reporting method so that big corporations can't move assets to other states and avoid taxation. We could reduce that rate to about 5% and, and raise the same amount of revenue if we simply required everybody fully report their earnings and their assets and then pay 5%. Uh, the, the corporate net income tax would raise the same amount of money as it raises right now. Um, historically, uh, business taxes have raised about 25% of Pennsylvania's revenue. Today, that slipped down to about 20%. Some have called for further business taxes. Uh, I think uh, we, we can't afford that. We want to stay competitive for sure, but I think that 25% level of uh, business tax contribution is where we should um, set ourselves on a, on a permanent basis that would be fairer to the average taxpayer. Yes, uh, thank you. I, uh, I support, as I stated earlier, an earned income tax credit. I think that would help uh, people making uh, low income, and it would help them out and incentivize them to make more or not be penalized to make more. But the property tax fiasco uh, I've been dealing with for six years in Allegheny County, and I successfully fought off uh, court ordered reassessments uh, and a hodgepodge pattern of property taxes around the state. 48 states in the United States got this right. Two states do it the way we do Pennsylvania and Delaware. And Delaware has three counties. We have 67 counties. There, there, there are no rules. Every county is on their own. Go do what you want. Assess how you want. Don't do it for 40 years. Don't do it for 60 years. Nobody does that. What we need is a governor step forward and the reform property taxes in addition to the other taxes so that we have protection for households, so that we don't have county competing against county, so that there's some consistency, there's some rules, and that we don't 
allow any municipality to use a property reassessment as a backdoor tax increase is what people were doing. I'm actually glad that I can sit here and tell you uh, my county is the only county in the West that has not raised county property taxes in the last nine years, and we didn't allow the reassessment system to be used as a backdoor tax increase. I'm in total agreement that the corporate tax structure has to be totally uh, overhauled if we want to stay competitive to encourage companies to put their capital into the state and to bring the jobs back here. And that will be part of my comprehensive tax return.